Welcome to one of the most unique tiny houses we have ever been to on this channel. I have never seen anything like this on the internet, in the world, anywhere. This is a 500 square foot tiny house silo with built on attachments to it for a really, really unique look and layout. So let's go take a tour of this place. Hills Cottage Company. If you remember on our channel last year, we've been here before. We visited their first shipping container home, which was their first build. You guys loved it a lot. I loved it a lot. It was beautiful. They did such a great job with it, and they built and designed it all themselves. But today, we are going to be touring their newest build, which is their tiny house silo. This thing is something we've never seen before. Totally unique build. I've never seen anything like this on the internet, on Airbnb, anywhere. This is a silo conversion, which we've seen before, but they've attached to it on both sides. It kind of looks like they split a container half and put it on each side, but it's not a container, but it does match their other two units here on the property very nicely. This is very unique if you want to see something to spark some creativity or some ideas, or just see that really just about anything is possible, then this is the video for you. If you want to book this place, the link is down in the description, uh, along with if you want to book their other two tiny houses on this property. But we are in Hawking Hills, Ohio today. I'm always in this area because I live close by and there's always beautiful uh, Airbnbs and cabins and tiny houses to check out in this area including this one. And I was talking to the host whenever I arrived here and I was telling them that their property is one of the most beautiful properties in Hawking Hills. Just how open it is. Uh, you can see the trees all around. You can see the hills around and the meadow behind the tiny house. And it's a really private area as well. It just feels a little bit different than uh, the normal Hawking Hills properties. I like it a lot. So if you want to come here for some privacy, and a unique space. Keep watching this video, we're gonna to be touring the rest of it. Whenever you pull up on the property, you'll drive down plenty of parking here, and then the landscaping is just gorgeous. They always nail it with the landscaping. Freshly planted trees, beautiful grass will be grown here, and then the front of the silo landscape is just gorgeous as well. But the silo is about 500 uh, square feet of living space. Of course, you can see the silo right here in the middle. I love the cedar wood accents all along the edges and the roof line. And then the board and batten on the both attachments on each side. It's just awesome. The paint color of this is iron ore and I can't go wrong with black. It's my favorite color for a uh, tiny house. This front side has a couple seating options out here to enjoy some morning coffee while rocking in the chair. And for the exterior in the front, that is about it, except for my favorite part, which is the ladder detail up on the roof. That is so cool. And it just fits in with the whole aesthetic of this silo tiny house. I love that. Anyway, let's walk inside and see how they designed this unique space. walk inside here of course in the silo part so it's all round and that has challenges all with it building with round edges and such so I think they did a great job saving space in here and just laying it all out this is also really tall if we take a look up the ceilings go way up high makes the space feel a lot larger than what it actually is and I love the wood design detail they did up here in the middle along with the chandelier it just looks incredible this first section over here on this left side is your living room space they got the leather couch right here your coffee table and this all faces your mantle with the black ship lap you got the TV above your wood mantle and then the fireplace below it just really nice spot to watch movies or shows and it's just cozy right here and then behind this uh, you got your kitchen space the kitchen is divided into two sections this first one closest to the living room space is the smaller of the two but it has your refrigerator right here a couple cabinets your coffee supplies and this microwave air fryer oven combo this thing does it all for your cooking needs and it's really tiny so it fits in the space perfectly but also in the drawers you have everything you'd possibly need for your coffee that's what i really like about the hawking hills cottage company they don't skimp out on any of the coffee necessities for the perfect cup of joe so that is really nice and then the other part of your kitchen is on the other side over here and this has your sink the gold faucet and then this really beautiful quartz countertop 
and tied in with the black cabinets over here as well it just all looks great and you got a bunch of floating shelves up here along with the black tile behind all of this the kitchen split in two is definitely unique but when you got a really unique tiny house they both fit together then the last thing in this space is a small dining area for two uh, to eat at. And then that is the silo portion of this area. Now there's two wings attached to it. The first one off the living room is your bedroom space. You walk in here and your bed is plopped right here in the middle. And you got nightstands on both sides. The black backing behind the bed looks great along this wall. And this looks tiny in the camera, but if you look at me walking around, there's actually a lot of room on both sides of the bed. And if we look on the other wall, you got a TV over here and some hangers to hang up your clothes. But the unique thing about this is they kept the exposed silo on this wall. So you can see the metal ribbed uh, silo on this wall. And it looks really cool. It's a nice detail to add. And then now we can head over to the other wing. And this is your full size bathroom. This bathroom is huge for a tiny house. You walk in, your van right here on the right side you got everything you need up above it beautiful mirror right here in the middle you got your toilet caddy cornered in this corner with the ship flap wall over here and then your shower right behind all of this and it's a walk-in shower and all of this is just a clean bright look there's windows in here really high above so nobody can see in and then my favorite part in here is the wallpaper, this dandelion wallpaper. If you were to tell me that we're getting a dandelion wallpaper, I'd probably be like, mm, I probably won't like that. But after seeing this one, it looks really good in here, actually. So it ties in this bathroom, gives it some detail and character. And overall, this bathroom is beautiful. So that is all of the inside. But we're not done yet. If we walk out this back door, we got the entertainment space outside left. Out here is your entertainment space very private and peaceful out here as well this entire back patio area is covered and there's a lot to do out here this first section over here on the left side you got a couple swinging chairs your firewood and then your hot tub this is a huge hot tub seven person hot tub i think for uh, this tiny house and on the other side you got some outdoor seating and of course your grill on the side then right here in the middle we can walk out and there's a fire pit out here for you with a couple chairs and you can sit here and look right at your beautiful tiny house airbnb or just swing it around and look at the beautiful nature behind you it's all trees and meadow and even a couple hills back there and this is just a beautiful area to hang out at i love the privacy back here even though there are two other tiny houses on this property there's fencing you can't even see them don't even notice them from the ground up, the hosts built this all themselves. They designed it, they built it, and I just think that is really, really impressive for something that's kind of complex like this and the uniqueness of it. It's just really impressive. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I love reading them. I'm sure everybody else loves reading them as well. And thank you guys for watching this video all the way through up until here, and I'll see you next week in another Airbnb tour video.